God is good. God is good all the time. Now, Republican women are doing a great job turning Republican sheep into ferocious lions and putting them in a winning position. Biden's support is starving out at record numbers, never before seen for any president. The pressure is on Democrats to explain their votes and support to the American people. There is not one person in America now affected negatively on so many different levels than every single American out here. They have no way out of this mess. You notice that psychologists aren't doing any diagnosis from TV on Biden. You know why? No one can say he's fit to be president nor was he legitimately elected. Now, even the black community is already revoking Kamala Harris' black card. She's been an embarrassment since day one on the job, and all these politicians, their character is now being tested, not being judged by the color of their skin. That privilege and entitlement that came with those speeches and being the first this and first that people don't like for the first to show failure not success America's patience is running out people and I'm glad to see it we're tired of people being asleep at the wheel when our kids education and more is being taught by the government and not being taught by the parents and our kids are being taught to be less than who they are. And you know getting well as a parent, we always tell our kids to be the best that they can be. And we feel like they are the best. So, to see how America, from all different walks of life, is now saying we've been played, we've been used, used for our vote, used as far as our community, and we don't have nothing to see for it or show for it. Every single city that's Democrat has decades worth of pain of them voting for the same thing and getting the same results. At this time period, you don't have Democrats really out there like talking about it and even the Democratic establishment knows that. They know now nobody else is going to get played again. And now with people asking more questions and more, that's why they are trying to silence people from these meetings and more. Because Democrats are showing up at the same meetings as Republicans having the same problem. And with that, that's called unity. And we have strength in that. And the fact is, people are finding out outside of people's personalities what the Republican Party is all about, how we are engaged and active now. You know that you don't see Democrats protesting at school board meetings or at city council meetings or whatever power structure that's out there in their localities. You don't see that. But you see Republicans in great numbers protesting, getting active, getting people signed up, saying it's time to get on the ball, make sure everybody is aware that this is going on now, not only in our schools, but in our country. Socialism, communism, and people of all walks of life sick of the politicians. But at the same time period, they know now where our politicians are standing firm. That's because they're seeing us out there. We have to keep it up. We cannot give the Democratic Party an inch. We can't say Virginia and New Jersey, those elections is nothing more than Mick Aulis and Northam and the Democratic Party's, you know, clean sweep. We have to start saying now, everywhere y'all are, we are going to be there. And we're going to be fighting against you. And guess what you're going to start seeing? More and more people you never expected to be on your side, on your side. You know why? They woke up and they finding out we are all fighting for the same thing. Our children's future. So God bless you and God bless America.